from Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Cincinnati Reds. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. Starting on the mound in this one, Hunter Green. What do we have on him? With the height, the release point creates a lot of tilt on his pitches. So coming into the zone, really hard for the hitters to get on plane. Makes it very difficult for the hitters to guess. Now it's the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. Leading off the afternoon for St. Louis. The shortstop, Tommy Edmond. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. First pitch, one o'clock. Right hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. It falls in, and that's a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, get that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Line drive, base hit. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. And that's a double. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Edmund at third. O'Neill stands at second. No outs. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. strikeout pulled the string of the changeup so two in scoring position with one out Nolan Arenado will hit next hard hit base hit one runs in throw comes in and holds the runner at third they're at the corners now with still only one away big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead that was clutch the pitch was on the outside didn't go the other way with it but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole no way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball bat. now a huge at bat in this game coming up Wilson Contreras oh, swings through it for strike one And he's down 0-2 as he oh, he swings did. through it. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Here's the 0-2. Out to short, into the outfield, base hit. The run scores from third, and they lead by two. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. This is Dylan Carlson. In the air out to center. Senzel coming in on it. And he makes the grab. And there's two away. 
Here's the Cardinals lineup now. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers. So we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the map. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is gone over the right field wall. And they tack on three. It's five zip. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. And next is the designated hitter, Juan Yepes. And there's a foul ball. Hunter Green has a long way to go before he's the most famous baseball player from his high school. Mike Stanton went to Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, California. Of course, now we know him as John Carlos Stanton. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. St. Louis gets three on the homer, and the lead is now 5 nothing. Back here in Cincinnati, and towing the slab, the guy with the big yacker, the yellow hammer, Uncle Charlie. Adam Wainwright. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. Foul ball there. Kick Sandios. Liner snaked at first. Here's David Bell's lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. Singing they got their work cut out for them down a busload already in this one. And a manager does not want to see his hitters going to the plate swinging like it's a home run derby. He wants guys to put together quality at bats, play the game that you've been playing and that you've been taught to play with this organization and go out there and move the line. If you do that, you're going to score some runs. Maybe you don't win this ball game, but at least you have some momentum to carry into the next one. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. The first base. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Chris Adam Wainwright, for all the accolades, multiple All-Star games, multiple gold gloves. He may have the title as one of the best pitchers to never win a Cy Young Award. And, of course, now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Reds down in order. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Back here at Great American Ballpark, and here is Brendan Donovan. Yeah, he set a record in his second career outing when he threw 39 pitches, 100 miles an hour or more in a single game. And that surpassed Jacob DeGrom's record of 33. And that's down a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Tommy Edmond at the plate. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. 
foul ball. Donovan gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Two now. Popped up. Newman sizing this one up. Makes a nice run of catch. And there's one away. Now back the left field. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Doubled his first time up. Grounder might be two. They get one. Over to first, oh, safe. Nice. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Line drive, short hop to third. Got him! Nice play. One hit, one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Cardinals five and the Reds nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. And here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And the right-hander deals. Ripped on a line to center. Carlson makes the play. And a quick out number one. Batting the right fielder. Will Myers now. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. The plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Bounces over the wall in foul ground. It's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, boo. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Stepping in, Jake Fraley. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Runner at second here, one gone. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the grab for the second out. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Digging in, Spencer Steer. Comebacker to the mound. And it's through for a hit. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the send with two away. Not sure. Not sure. Two gone with runners at the corners. Ooh. Kevin Newman, the next to hit for the Reds. Next pitch has popped up. Base hit, and a run comes in. Can't love it cleanly. Back-to-back -back base hits, and you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Now 
now it's Nick Senzel. And a foul ball. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. That's towards center. Carlson settles underneath it. He's got it, and that is that. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We play two full. It's the Cardinals five and the Reds one. Top half of the third inning and stepping in for the Cardinals, Nolan Arenado. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh nice changeup. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Rolled over to third, and it gets by him. And it gets by him. The throw into second. To second, pulls him off the bag. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So, man aboard, and up to hit is Wilson Contreras. That's a laser base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. So they're at the corners now. Now the batter now, Dylan Carlson. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Runner from third comes across. It's 6-1. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Lars Newtbar getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Green, 23 years old, a former first round pick back in 2017. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his bat. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two. In the air, left field. Friedel gliding to his right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now back. Designated hitter. Juan. And now the DH. Juan Yepes. Struck out swinging his first time. And it's fouled away. Runners at first and second with one gone. Slice down the right side. At the belt and fires. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. This one smoked out to left. That's down. One hops off the wall. Contreras headed home, and the throws offline. Safe at third. The run comes in to score from second. It's seven-one. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. One away, runners at second and third. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. In the air, out towards right center. Senzel moving to his left, 
Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Throw home. He beats it. It's 8-1. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Double into the gap, and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside pitch. Just beat him to the spot. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right there. Tommy Edmond next up for the Cardinals. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Shoots a line drive single into right center. One run is in. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And now Tyler O'Neill. 1-0. The 1 0. Roll to short, could be two. Quick feed to second for one, but not in time at first. He's safe. The inning is still alive, and the run scores. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. In the air, left field. Friedel in position, and that is that. But nine batters hit in the inning. Five come around to score. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Redbirds 10 and the Reds 1. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now, T.J. Friedel. T.J. Friedel. Wainwright back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. That one the other way. Tracks it down for the out. One up, one down. The batter, number six. Second, Second baseman. baseman. Jonathan yeah. Indy at the plate. Glide out his first time. Fouled off down the right side. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. So a man aboard now with one away. One out, runner at second. And now the first baseman, Joey Votto. He's 0 for 1. Line drive, and that's a base hit to right. Gliding around third is India. He will score. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. To second, but way too late, safe there. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And it's second with one away. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Left field. O'Neill drifts towards it. And there are two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder right coming fielder, open instead four. of staying closed. Weird. If he does that, he's going to be able to go Fire. up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So up next, Will Myers doubled in his first A.B. Just a slow ground ball this time. Puts the tag on him, and that's the inning. These guys were ready early on. Just a three-inning game, but we saw a lot of action. 
That was as much a slugfest as you could hope for in this type of contest. 10 to the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, 10 minutes. 